It was the fifth convocation ceremony of the University of Medical Sciences, Unimed Undo, in Undo State, held on Thursday, 1st of February 2024. The ceremony was organized for graduating students from the Faculty of Sciences, Allied Health Sciences, Basic Medical Sciences, Clinical Science, Dental Science, Medical Rehabilitation and Nursing Science, School of Public Health, as well as postgraduate diploma students for the 2022-2023 academic session. Over the years, Unimed has produced quality graduates that can rub shoulders with those from other universities across the globe. It was indeed a time of celebration for the management and students of the institution being the first specialized medical university in Nigeria. Dignitaries from all walks of life graced the event including families of the graduating students. The program was laced with speeches and words of admonition for the graduating students. Our regular programs, without any exception, are now fully genocide in university. I hope somebody is listening to me. In his welcome address, the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council of the University, Professor Ayodele Arujolu, acknowledged the support and commitment of stakeholders for the successful stories of the university. Professor Aro Jolu also commended efforts of the governing council towards upholding the vision of the founding fathers. It is important to appreciate my colleagues in the governing council for their commitment, diligence and efforts towards the development of this university. I pray that your labor and love will not be in vain. I cannot but extend my heartfelt appreciation to the university management under the able leadership of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ali Shegu Fatusi, who has not only steered the ship of the academic academia with unwavering commitment, but has also set an excellent standard that has elevated our institution to a new height. It is important to note that through the support of the industry government and the prudent management of the internal Generated revenue of the university, the institution has developed tremendously within the past one year. The vice chancellor of the institution, Professor Adesha Gonfatusi, expressed delight at the graduation of the first set of medical doctors and dental surgeons by the institution. He stressed the unwavering dedication of the university towards fostering academic excellence and nurturing future leaders in scientific fields been Nigeria's four specialized University of Medical and Health Sciences. One second set of practitioners, medical practitioners, and one of the first and second set of data practitioners were inducted in 19 December 2023. This is a record in Nigeria's 76 year old history of university education. In addition, no university in the history of our country has ever produced a set of plenty between the four decades of existence. Thus, today, we have successfully produced our first two set of dentists within our first nine years of existence. Furthermore, other than Lagos State, no other state university has ever produced a dentist today to do date because of the new resources required for dental training. The women went to the great forums and now they are It is important to know that the way that as me as any public university will be able to graduate its first set of physicians within 10 years of your own student to medical training program over the last two, three decades now. Thank you. Because of the highly rigorous multi state accreditation process. As well as shows, two of our neighboring states in the South West will have to show that their medical training program at some point. And they started many years later. Delivering the convocation lecture, Kola Olubo the all the graduated students to be creative and think big to be able to cope with challenges of life. Days like this is a day of joy. Then the tomorrow will come. And then the question will, will just pop up. So where do we go from now? Where do we go from here? Lots of good things are happening in Nigeria. Anytime you see 
a society where things are not working. That is the society where there is a lot of opportunities. For every problem in this country, I tell you, there are opportunities. A lot of innovative businesses are springing up in Nigeria on daily basis. Even to the medical field and other even fields of your graduating here today. This is the season of entrepreneurship. If you are thinking of any other thing, begin to think entrepreneurship. How do I add technology? How do I add artificial intelligence to whatever thing I've been taught in Unimed? I was a first degree who had conferred undergraduate for the nine faculties as well as presentation of rights to the 19 best graduate students of the university, the visitor of the university and governor of Undo State, Loki Ayidatiwa, expressed satisfaction with the accomplishment of the Citadel of Learning after more than nine years of its establishment. The governor promised his administration continued support for the growth of the institution. Therefore, boldly reiterate the commitment of my administration to the continuous growth and success of UNIMED. The strides being made by this institution resonate with our vision for a healthier and more prosperous Ondo state. We shall continue to provide our unwavering support and foster an enabling environment to ensure the university continues to flourish positively and positively impact our people's lives. As part of that commitment, the state government has earned a total sum of one billion naira for the construction of a Senate building for this university. 585 graduates participated in the convocation out of which nine bad first class, 217 graduated with second class upper division, 94 with second class lower division, 15 with the top class and 57 graduated from postgraduate programs. I'm happy God has made this day to come. Indeed, it is a day he has made and indeed we are rejoicing. And okay, what motivated me? The award I got was best student in dissertation. That's best student in research, final year research. And I would say what motivated me was God and because I just had this passion for women. I did a work on um, menstrual cramps, like exercises to relieve menstrual cramps. We wish the management and graduates the best of luck in their future endeavors.